watching you for some time Can't stop staring at those ocean eyes I've decided that it might not be like spring at the moment, although today is actually very like spring, but I've adopted this kind of like ethos over the last, I don't know whether that's the right word, but this kind of way of dressing over the last few weeks where I basically just dress like it's spring because I've put all of my other wardrobe clothes away and I've got my spring wardrobe all together and it's just been sat there and I haven't been able to use it, so basically whether the weather likes it or not, it's spring to me from now on. So if I'm cold, well, that's the weather's fault and it's not my fault. I am in spring mode. <laughs> I'm back to doing way more vlogs after being, I feel like I've been away for ages and I've missed vlogging and I also feel like I kind of lost, feel like I lost what I loved about vlogging. I mean, I'll talk I'll talk to you about this later. Um, we actually have to go somewhere now um, because it's wedding prep day. We're going to taste our menu, which I'm very uh, looking forward to because um, I've never done this before and I, I literally just don't know what I'm doing. When they were like, so pick stuff to taste, I was like, why don't you pick stuff to taste? <laughs> I don't know what I'm picking. So they've actually put together a really nice menu for us. So we're gonna head to our venue now. Obviously I can't vlog this because um, I just, I just can't, but I can tell you that one of the dishes I'm trying today is cured with Hendrix gin. So, I mean, it's all downhill from here. It's also gonna be a winner at my wedding because I absolutely love Hendrix gin. But I'm just waiting for Ali to get ready. I'm ready um, and we're gonna jump in the car. You can hear his hairspray going. But anyway, I'm gonna show you my outfit really quickly and then we're gonna jump in the car and drive all the way out into the lovely countryside and we're probably just gonna spend the day together, so. Should be a good one. This is the outfit that I'm wearing today. It is a philosophy dress that I got from Stylebop and my Fendi Peekaboo, which I'm actually obsessed with at the moment. This is such a nice spring bag and it holds so much stuff for a small bag. It's so good and I love that I can just sort of like change whichever straps. And the noise over there is him. Me? <laughs> I've got Chloe boots on and I'm actually waiting for a pair of Fendi boots to arrive. I wanted them to arrive for tomorrow because I'm going to Paris with L'Oreal. I can't oh, yeah. see... Tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know I was going to no. Paris with L'Oreal tomorrow? No. Yeah. Who's going to cook me dinner? Not me because I don't ever cook you dinner. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I'm hoping that they'll leave them with a neighbour but I'm not... Yeah, they didn't respond to my... Twitter messages, so thanks DHL. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing for the day, so we're gonna hit the road. These beautiful flowers arrived this morning and they're from Alice Strange. I've got a weekly subscription with her and she hand delivers all of these beautiful bouquets for me. I just, I really got into having fresh flowers in my house, even if it's just one bunch, it makes me so happy. And it's great for props as well. So um, yeah, she honestly does such beautiful bouquets. Look how nice and sunny it is. I just left a big like, sign out um, for the drivers to deliver our parcels to a neighbour and um, DHL pulled up and I thought it was, no sorry, DPD pulled up and I thought it was DHL and I got really excited. Ah, 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 I bent my nail back. <laughs> So, we finished off at our wedding venue. Oh my gosh, it takes so much for me not to get my camera out there and just film everything and show you everything, but it's so like, yeah, I can't do that because it just would be so obvious. It's such a lovely day. It was so much more like extravagant than we thought. Like. It's so funny because we don't know what we're doing. We've never been married before. So um, we don't really know how stuff works and we didn't realize that we were gonna turn up there and actually like taste our entire menu options, like the full dishes. And so we're like that sat down. Yeah, we had like so many meals. It was, and the food, oh my gosh, it is amazing. And i um, really happy with that. Ali seems to all of a sudden have decided that he is Mr. Decision Maker and they'd be like, so do you want like this at your at your, at your wedding breakfast? And Ali's like, yeah, yeah, whack 50 beers on there. I'm like, 
Oh right, will we now? Will we? Okay. Literally <laughs> thinks indecisive. Okay. Yeah, usually decisive. he's Mr. Indecisive, but not today. Not today. He was Mr. Decision Maker, and yeah. like he knew what dishes he wanted in the menu. What cutlery I wanted. What cutlery? What food? Glasses. Like when we got to choose the glasses, he was like, "Oh, those are the ones. We'll take them." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Dishwash mash. Yeah, but then he wants. He wants to chat about all of the irrelevant stuff. So we've been there for five hours. Five hours. Thanks to a blabbermouth here. I've walked through the wedding day. Yeah. <laughs> very good. It's, it seems very organised. So that's that's great. That is great. So it's very exciting. Um, am I boring you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we've returned home. We spent like five hours at our wedding venue today. It's been such a long day. But, um, so I paid 25 pounds for this parcel to be delivered ahead of my trip tomorrow. I've ordered some Fendi boots and I think it was like my first or second time shopping at this store. And I emailed them and I said, look, we are doing wedding stuff on the day that this is due to be delivered. We have very lovely neighbours. Do you think that you could possibly deliver it to one of our neighbours? Of course, they said to us, oh, we've tried to contact uh, the delivery courier, but they're not getting back to us. Anyway, I left a lovely note for the delivery courier. Please, could you leave this parcel with a neighbour? I'm sat there in my meeting with my wedding venue and I get a message. No, we couldn't leave it with your your neighbours. You'll have to come and collect it. And it's an hour round trip away. Anyway, I'm gonna jump in my car now and uh, drive over to Northampton, which I should really be packing and checking in online, but I'm not, I'm doing this. Uh, so yeah, I will see you on the flip side. We have the parcel. It is in the house and it's now dark outside and Ali and I are about to have fish and chips. I will open this with you in a minute. And with you, little chicken. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello. What are you doing? Are you keeping watch over mummy's box? Are you keeping watch? Little pippy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, so I'm currently sat on the floor. We just had fish and chips and I ate the whole thing. <laughs> so my uh, pants are now very tight. But um, I thought that I would show you some bits that have come in today and then open the big box for you. Um, let's start with this one because it looks very exciting. This is from Longcomb and Longcomb, oh my gosh, literally one of the most beautiful makeup brands. Uh, this is their matte shaker. So this is why I'm showing you it. Now I haven't tried it yet so I don't know like the longevity. Perhaps I'll like try it over the weekend or something like that. Um, but this is one of their PR packages. So I wanted to make sure that you knew that because I don't want it to sound like I'm being like, oh my God, this is the best product ever when I haven't tried it. So um, I just wanted to show you them because I'm excited about them. So they come with lip liners as well. And then there are seven shades, if I can count. These are called the matte shakers and they come in seven shades and they've also got seven shades of their lip liners. This is probably the closest to a nude. It looks a lot pinkier on the screen. I'm gonna try this color, which is Energy Peach 272. I'm gonna try this one over the weekend. Are you okay, my love? Straight. You're staring at me, why are you staring at me? <laughs> he's stressed because he's put a load of SD cards somewhere and now he can't find them. I'd like to say that that was um, a rare occurrence, but we actually do that all the time. Only, you know, like 150 million gigabytes of data lost. Yeah. Good time. And I will let you know how I get on with those because um, I'm quite excited about them. Then we have, this is a... Uh, you right, my lovely burping? Hiccuping. Oh, hiccuping. Then we have the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. Um, I work regularly with Look Fantastic, and this is probably the one beauty box that I've been the most excited about, because this is the Get Glow Beauty Box. And, but this one is obviously all aimed at kind of like summer. It's got the James Reed Gradual Tan H2O Mist. I've actually been trying out tanning waters recently, and I've got to say, I am so impressed. These are the ones that don't transfer onto your clothes. 
So um, I used one not long ago. I need to get back into that. Uh, then we have the System Professional Solar Sun Oil. Ooh, Mellow Baked Eyeshadow. I have never heard of this brand, but that looks really beautiful. This is shade. What shade is this? I don't know. I have the Real Chemistry Luminous 3 Minute Peel and some masks and scrubs. What's this? Scrub Love. Scrub love. So this is the one that's going to get you summer ready, basically. It's one of their beauty boxes. So I thought that I would show you that because I've never actually shown you any of their beauty boxes. Um, they didn't ask me to do this. I just knew that I was excited about this one, so I wanted to show you it. Finally, because we don't want to make this too long. We're getting back into the long vlogs, but we still don't want them to be too long and boring. I've got to be honest with you. I hated these shoes when I first saw them. I was like, no, I don't like them. And the next thing I know, I'm ordering them. They are so, like, trend and just... Babe, can you get me scissors? Oh. Really, where are the cards? <laughs> you don't know where they are. Thank you, babe. These are such, like, trend shoes. They're not classics at all. But I thought that, that well, first of all, I thought they were hideous. Now I kind of think that they're a lot of fun and I, for some reason I really wanted to wear them in Paris so I drove an hour round trip to get them from the DHL depot today. Illustration on it which I think is actually very very cute. I might use that for um, wedding stuff. What does it say? Ali's gonna hate these, and I know that this is gonna be such a Marmite thing. I, yeah. I don't know why I love them. So I know they're a bit funny looking. Like the heel is, yeah, a little bit funny looking. These are their sock boots, and they come in a couple of different colours and styles. There's like red and white and blue, and there's black, and there's navy, and then there's one with like flowers on, and then one that's like striped. I went for the nude because I wore these with a dress. These are my Chloe ones. These are like much more of a classic boot. Like I wear these literally season in, season out. These, um, I put these on the other day, and Ali was like, mm, they're a bit dark for your outfit. And I was like, you are right, they are. And I thought that I would try these out. I think that these will look very, very cute with a lot of my floral dresses. So I'm wearing one now. So why don't we try? I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this is going to look quite cute. But I know that these are going to be one of those boots that not everyone likes. And that's okay. Remember what I said about the Chloe sunglasses? It's okay if you don't like them. Because firstly, I'm not telling you you have to buy them. I'm letting you know that if you want to, there is a link in the description box below where you can buy them. However, I'm also not telling you that you have to wear them. Um, only me, so if you don't like them, it's cool. You know, we're, we're just, we just have got different taste. <laughs> it's not a big deal. So I guess, anyway, let's try these on and see what they look like with floral dresses because I plan on wearing these tomorrow to Paris. So I've just popped them on and I asked Ali what he thought and his words were, hmm. They're weird, <laughs> um, but I absolutely love them. They're very flattering on. So these are the boots up close. And I think that they're gonna look a lot better in natural light because this is like creamy light. It's making them look more creamy when they're like a nude color. So yeah, I might show you what these look like in the morning and oh my God, there's gonna be so many comments. <laughs> morning everyone. I have just finished doing my makeup. And I'm about to do my hair. I'm trying to pack at the same time. Why am I out of breath? I only just walked up the stairs. Um, yeah, so I did a shoot with Bulgari the other week. And I, it was such a busy day that I didn't even have a chance to look in the mirror at all. And my makeup stayed on all day. I got home at like 2 in the morning. And I was like, my makeup hasn't budged. And I can't remember what I did. So I'm constantly like trying products that I've tested over the last few weeks trying to figure out what product it was that I used that stopped my makeup from moving. It's so annoying that I can't remember. So I'm just packing my suitcase down here and chilling with this little fur baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. <laughs> These bits always make me laugh. Hiya. Why'd they do that? Why'd they stick out? Why can't they just go behind my ears? Um, I'm gonna finish up packing my suitcase now and try and pick an outfit to wear. Suitcase is packed. That will close, I promise. It's like 
there see it closes perfectly <laughs> and then this is all of my stuff to take on the plane because I've I usually get the uh, Eurostar so I have all my stuff with me anyway but I've got this bag just for my laptop in case I want to do any work my jacket and my Fendi bag which is actually stuffed too much let's take some stuff out and put it in here because it doesn't need to those are my little sockies in case my feet get cold on the flight <laughs> flight hack right there <laughs> um, anything else no that's looking good now cool All right, you're going out, are you? <laughs> Come on then, we're going, we're going. Come on, baby. Come on. I know. Oh, you get you think that I want you, but not not, babe. You're one in a million, but it's not for me. Two girls with a plastic trace Don't take it too personally Got Patricia Bright. Hello. Koshal. Hello. Can we see you, Emily and Amina? Hey. All looking a lot fresher than I do this morning. Okay, so it's a bit of a miserable day here in France. I may have said that we were going to Paris. <laughs> I just go to France so much. I go to Paris so much that I only ever think of France as Paris. But we're actually in Lyon and it's like, yeah, it's not Paris. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we got an hour's flight over here. We've just got a like transfer here. How cute is this room? It's so pretty. But yeah, so I basically we've come here with L'Oreal to go to their skin. We're going to like epi, epi skin. Um, I'm on the same floor as Koshal, which um, I'm very happy about. And we're gonna head down and we've all got like a private room to have dinner together. And literally I'm having so much fun. Such a lovely group of girls. And it's just, we haven't stopped talking and my throat hurts. So like vlogging is a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna refresh myself because I definitely fell asleep on the plane. Then we're gonna head down and have some food and some drinks as well, which is very exciting. I feel very, very lucky to be here right now. Um, yeah, very lucky. So let's get refreshed. Oh wow, look how rosy my cheeks are and how whiny my eyes are. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest with you, I um, am obviously surrounded by girls that have been doing YouTube a lot longer than me, so I feel a little bit like, oh, I, just, I, I feel weird getting my camera out in front of them because like they're the pros and I'm the noob and it just, I feel, I feel a little bit out of my depth, but I'm sure that that will change the more that like we do stuff together. It's been so nice just talking. Um, I haven't spoken about this on my channel yet and I feel like I should probably do an entire video devoted to this, but <sighs> I've, I've, I've been finding it a little bit tough, um, tougher than I ever thought that I would find doing YouTube. Um, I thought that I would be able to come to this as a grown-ass woman, someone that's very, very comfortable with themselves and just be able to talk about the stuff that I enjoy talking about, like, that are my sort of hobbies, essentially. My hobbies are buying handbags and collecting handbags and that's kind of what I do and I thought, you know, we could just talk about this, talk about fashion, talk about dresses, talk about all that stuff. And obviously I've, I've, I've experienced growth. Like it's been amazing. It's been the most in incredible thing ever. It's changed my life and it's been so cool. And I'm thankful for every single one of you, genuinely. But there is a lot of negativity in this space. It's quite lonely and lonely in it. Like I never feel alone, but I feel it in the sense that no one understands. No one understands what it's like to have 50 comments in the space of an hour. You're a disgusting human. You're ugly. You're, and I, I don't care about how I look. Like the comments about how I look, they're irrelevant. I'd say since Vlogmas, I've been trying to create content I love, but whilst 
in the same breath shielding myself from those comments and the online hate, the forums. I've physically had to stop myself from reading the forums. It's very difficult when people are discussing you online to ignore it, but I've managed to do that now and I feel better for it. And I realized tonight speaking to the other girls that, I mean, it's been lovely, like such an amazing group of girls and, and so friendly and so welcoming. But I've realized that I feel, I feel like I've been, I don't know, playing down me and playing down what I love to do and playing down the things that make me happy in order to shield myself from those comments. And I'm worried that I lost sight of what made my channel grow in the first place. And it feels better, I feel better. I feel good for this. I, uh, four minutes, God, Lydia, you do ramble on. <laughs> but I feel better for this. I've, I've, if anything from this trip, I take away the fact that we all experience this. It, sometimes it's to more degree than others. And I'm actually not experiencing this alone. We're all going through it. And I just have to ensure that I'm making the videos that make me happy. My battery's flashing red. <laughs> God, I dread how long this vlog is gonna be. But hey, back to my old ways. <laughs> I've got such wine eyes though. Look at those bad boys. So very excited to get back to my YouTube and the things that I want to do and the vlogs, the hauls. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more real-time hauls with this camera, like not doing necessarily the setups. I'll still do the cutaways so that you can see them on, but just setting up my camera and just chatting to you. And I'm not talking like incoherent ramblings, just chatting, like having a purpose and just talking to you guys. I like that. I'm gonna go to sleep now and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. to bed in a room in Lyon and I'm waking up in a room in Paris. Uh, basically what happened yesterday was something had been in the works for a while and um, it was kind of like it hadn't been confirmed but I knew that it might happen and then yesterday um, I was sat down in the presentation with L'Oreal and they pulled me out and they're like Lydia you've got to go, you've got to be on the first train to, to Paris and I went to Paris and I did a very 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 exciting shoot for the L'Oreal and Balmain collection. And I got to interview Olivier, I got to interview the head of makeup at L'Oreal, who is, by the way, Zach, he is amazing. And I just had the most surreal and, I mean, you'll see how, I think, taken aback I was by the entire thing and how I couldn't believe it was happening when the vlog goes up. The vlog will actually go up later on in the summer and you'll be able to see everything that happened and the interviews and, Everything like that, it was so last minute though, so um, I felt a little bit, <laughs> But yeah, so I'm in a uh, hotel room in Paris. I'm going home today. Um, I haven't really had a chance to show you my outfits either, but this room is nice and light and airy so I can show you. And I'm gonna head home today. Should be back late afternoon-ish. I need to go and get my nails done and just get a little bit of a pamper in because um, it was a long old slog from Lyon to Paris and I drank some champagne the night before, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was a little bit tough, I'm not gonna lie, but it was the best day ever. We'll see what we get up to today, to be honest. I don't really have much planned, so I'm just winging it <laughs> with you guys. So let's see what happens to finish off this vlog. This is my outfit for the day. I've got my new Fendi boots on, which um, I showed you my unboxing of earlier. Got so many compliments on these yesterday. Uh, obviously, they're a bit of a Marmite thing, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> and I've got my philosophy dress which is from Stylebot, I'll link that down below. And then I've got my Fendi bag and kind of hair that needs a massive wash. But I'm gonna wash it tonight because hopefully I'm gonna get to go to like the spa or something to rejuvenate. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear home. It's nice and sunny here in Paris, so um, yeah, I can kind of enjoy my spring wardrobe whilst I'm here. But let's get going. Oh, he's my sunshine and my hair day. But I keep coming back for more You know, like I don't look as glamorous as when I last spoke to you. Um, this is the point where I start to like hit the hit the wall 
Um, I slept the entire train journey back. I slept the entire car journey back. <laughs> and now I'm about to just take off my makeup and start the um, kind of pamper session to make myself feel a little bit better. I've got to go and get my nails done because they took my gels off for the shoot. I'm gonna pick myself up a coffee as well because I've still got to edit a video, but like I'm seriously lagging right now. World's smallest violin playing just for me. I know I've had an amazing, amazing few days, um, but it was also quite stressful and quite tiring. Soldier on because all I want to do is like get into my bed and be like, <laughs> but that's not gonna happen so yeah let's uh get this face clean because i just can't be dealing with makeup right now i've been wearing makeup non-stop for the past few days i'd like to have some downtime now and um i'm in my comfy clothes these are my gibson girl like sportswear and i wear these religiously you must see me in them all the time this is the comfiest sportswear um that i can like wear around the house i can wear sort of to just run errands with trainers and like they're really nice and supportive so yeah these have become kind of like a bit of a lounge wear but gym wear at the same time but they're very very good i'll pop links them in the description box below but time to wash my face sunshine in my head but i keep coming back for more state of me oh my god but look at this it's like almost been a year since we filmed that advert and I'd never seen it on TV, ever. Like, I always wanted to. I saw it on, like, pre-roll on YouTube, but I never, ever saw it on TV. And I just literally was sat here watching the Kardashians. And it came on. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. And that's so funny, seeing as I've just been on a trip with them as well. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, I just got back from um, my nail lady's house. I've got fresh nails. Yeah, so I got fresh chromes for tomorrow and I got my toes done as well because I couldn't get them done the last time because we didn't have enough time. It was literally like in between trips. Um, but yeah, it was so nice seeing her as well. I, I took over her Snapchat and did loads of funny Snapchats on her thing. And then when I was driving back, I was like, do you know what album I haven't listened to in ages? Usher, uh, 8701. And I put it on, I had it blaring so loud and I was singing so badly to it that I was making myself laugh so I was like it was like you got a bad came on and I was like whoa <laughs> then I'd laugh like that afterwards because it was so bad <laughs> oh god I know that was really funny but um I'm gonna start editing this vlog now because it has to go up tomorrow I think this is gonna be the longest vlog of my life because I've already been talking for two minutes and I've done this so many times so um, hopefully it won't be too long, but the long vlogs are back. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I have no idea what I'm going to call it. Um, so bear with me on that one. Um, but I will hopefully see you in my next video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and leave me loads and loads of comments in the comment box below. So yeah, I love reading your comments. It's the best thing ever. I will see you in my next video. Bye.